about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, Tupac, his family has opened a pop-up restaurant in L.A. And that's going to be until June 30th. So that's also in conjunction with uh, Fixin' Soul Kitchen. You know, that's the restaurant uh, that's owned by Kevin Johnson and his wife, KJ and his wife. Mm -hmm. Uh, So this was a concept that he actually came up with, and they found a a notebook with a piece of paper where he had an idea for this restaurant, so they posted what that looked like. And so the family has opened these pop-up restaurants. They did it already in Fresno, California, and in New York City in past years. So it's the Power Mecca Cafe. And that'll be from June 16th to June 30th, like I said, in partnership with Fixin' Soul Kitchen. Who's his family? Because I know his mom passed and he has no kids, right? So who is his, his family? Do you know? Well, no, I don't know which exact family members are doing this, but he does have more family. I'm, yeah, I'm and people that who, um, who connect control his estate also. Mm-hmm. All right, now Vince Staples is talking about how he dropped a dance album uh, before. He was on Joe Button's podcast. And they asked him about, honestly, never mind Drake's new album. Yo, li- listen, <laughs> real, real quick, let me ask you this, because we talk about this all the time. You yeah. think Drake putting out a dance album gets us closer to the elimination of rap music as a whole? <laughs> I know it yeah, sounds I mean, like I'm playing, did, but I'm I, serious. I did, I did that 2017 on me. But, um, yeah, man, like... Uh, <laughs> what, did a dance album? Oh, that big fish here. He was mad at that. What's up with this, cuz? This <laughs> lean on, bro. <laughs> All right, so yeah, he did feel like when he put out Big Fish Theory, people were uh, having issues with that. And now look, a different day and age, Drake put something out five years later, and it's... Yeah, but Drake played with the dance music way before that, though, way before this. And I don't know if he did a whole album. No, he didn't do a whole album, like but he's, he's definitely yeah. done songs before, and a lot of people have done songs before. Mm-hmm. All right, now Nardo Wicks, Double XL Freshman Freestyle is here. As you know, they always put out these uh, freshman freestyles. So first up, Nardo Wick, and here is a snippet of that. I ain't fat or gaining weight, but you can see I'm getting bigger. I ain't picking up no trash, but you can see we getting little. I need a hat that say rated. I ain't rushed this, I waited. I blew up, they hate it. Play with me or life, I take it. I need a hat that say rated, cause I'm underrated. I was in debt with attention. I had to pay it. I love my mirror jeans, they keep me saturated. And I love my 76 too, they keep me well protected. 205, get hit with lead, now he want 80. Choppy make him sit still if he feeling shaky. Nardo, you so wicked, daddy. I know that baby. Somebody call a wick man. I need him to save me. All right, so that's just one of them. Mm-hmm. As you know, that freshman list just came out. All right, and congratulations to Ludacris. He's getting a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Well deserved. He posted, hey, mama, your son is being selected to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2023. God is the greatest. Well deserved. Yes, and some other people who will be getting their stars for this class, um, Uma Thurman, Mm -hmm. Paul Walker, Vince Vaughn, also uh, Mindy Kaling, Martin Lawrence, which is really dope. Mark Anthony, Sheila E., Lenny Kravitz, Charlie Wilson, and Melba Moore, amongst others. Irving Azoff is getting one, too. Wow, you would think that somebody's got their stars already. You I would I, definitely I, I thought think Martin that. Lawrence definitely had his star. And, of course, Ludacris with the, the amount of music and movies he's done and everything else that he's done. I thought they would have had their stars. Charlie I don't know Wilson how too, they decide when, yeah, this happens, but it's happening. Mm-hmm. All right, now Bobby Schmurter was on social media and he's working on his album, but it seems like producers are giving him a hard time. Here's what he said. I made over half a million for the year. It can't be that bad outside, my You know what I'm saying? Like, why is OD right now? Like, I'm trying to drop my project, but these are asking me clearances and these producers is asking for some crazy shit. I don't know what rumors is going around. They think like, oh, Bobby just dropping bags, this, this, that, whatever. I'm not giving no f- Ten thousand, eight thousand dollars for no f-ing producer song, bitch. Man, who the f- told you f-ing to f-ing make song with ten motherfuckers on the song, bitch? F-ing send me some buck, yo, 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 bum ass. F-ing send me some f-ing like that with like ten on the song, bro. Don't, don't, don't play me, bro. I'm not like, like y'all niggas gonna bust your gun by yourself. I have no idea what he said. What, what well, he's he say? upset yeah, that know. producers <laughs> are asking him for ten thousand, eight thousand dollars for a song. Uh, he also says they're asking for clearances and they're asking for crazy things. And he's saying, don't make songs with 10 people on the song then. And then try to charge them all that money for it. He said, it can't be that bad outside. Well, we used to play pay producers 10,000 a song. That was a come up. That was great. Because usually if, if you're a known producer, they, you're getting 50, 60, 70, 80,000. So if you got a producer for 10,000, that was amazing. Must be, must be not known producers. 
Right. So That's what it has to be. I'm not sure who he is talking about exactly, yeah. but he's not happy about this. Right. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Up next is the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Don't forget, I will who be there July voice? 9th. For my Drive Your Dreams car show. Uh, If you miss Houston, you're not going to want to miss Atlanta. Celebrity cars, exotic cars, uh, old school cars, family fun. We encourage you to bring the family, bring the kids. There's rides, there's games, uh, so many different things. So I hope to see you July 9th. And our tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster Locations, Eventbrite, or you can click the link in my bio. Can't wait to see you guys. But the mix is up next. Let's go.